Welcome back. Well, Halloween is right around the corner, so now is a perfect time to carve out some quality time to spend with your family. I see what you did there. You did. Martin Amato <laughs> tells us some fun ways to get into the spooky spirit. Halloween has always been a time of great excitement, and the best part is that we can start planning for it early. So unlike other holidays where we have to, you know, cook a lot in the kitchen, you know, prepare the right meal, or maybe feel that obligation to find the right holiday gift for family and friends, for me, Halloween is simply about having fun. It's about, you know, creating memories and passing on traditions from one generation to the other, and of course, decorating. So when we start decorating for Halloween, what's the, the a must, the, the essential ingredient? Of course, they are pumpkins. Pumpkins. We can use them to decorate the outside and the inside, but really it's all about coming up with cool new designs that will give us that wow factor now as we're decorating for the Halloween season. So yes, you know, spooky things will always have their place in Halloween, but the trend that we're seeing nowadays, specifically till this holiday, is that it's all about just coming together and, and being creative. So you want to embrace your inner artist and almost see the pumpkin as if it's a round canvas, if you will. You can really come up with so many innovative and intricate designs by having the right tools. So yes, we have, you know, the traditional jack-o'-lantern that we're all familiar with, but depending on your level of, of confidence, you can go ahead and up your pumpkin carving game to different levels. Now, the way to do this and make this entire process so much easier is by using the right tools, um, thanks to Pumpkin Master. So not only do they provide the tools, but they also provide the patterns with step-by-step -step instructions to achieve this look. Now, I will tell Tell you that they are very safe and easy to use for all ages, of course the kids and also the adults, so you can really get these amazing results. It looks as if a professional pumpkin carver did it, but I promise you it's a great do-it-yourself project too. So, you know, they, they don't look spooky, right? But they do look spectacular. Now, one of my favorite things to do now during this season is to host pumpkin carving parties. So along with the, the pumpkins in different sizes, maybe the kids can have their own small table with the miniature pumpkins or the gourds. The adults can be um, carving the, the bigger pumpkins. You also wanna have those delicious treats because they go hand in hand, right? It's trick or treat now for Halloween. So along with the pumpkins, go ahead and have maybe a punch bowl of apple cider, have delicious treats in traditional Halloween colors like the black and the orange. Um, here we have candy corns. I mean, we must have candy corns now um, during the season, but if you're looking for healthier alternatives, maybe with not so much sugar, of course, um, you can go ahead and take the pumpkins that you're, you're, you're using as you're carving out the pumpkin and your kids are helping you as well and toast them in the oven. That way you can come up with some tasty and healthier treats, if you will, recycling the entire pumpkin. So I love that. Uh, you know, once again, and there are so many things that you can do with the Pumpkin Masters um, all-in-one kits. They have many different designs that you can also choose from. Don't forget about the battery-operated lights to really enhance and create that experience outside, especially, you know, when um, it starts getting darker at night and the kids will be trick-or-treating on October 31st. So for more great tips and tricks, you can visit the website pumpkinmasters.com. Happy Halloween!